everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I've got another fun card to share with you and this is my pizza box card. So this is the front, so it's, I've done it to kind of look like the front of a pizza box and then when you open it up, you have this smaller pizza box with this really fun pizza. Now I actually, I've kind of done this pizza on what I like on a pizza. So yes, I do like pineapple on a pizza. Now they didn't have any ham pieces, so I have used the pepperoni, which I like as well, but you've got their cheese, spinach, tomatoes. You can do anything you like. This is a stamp set I've used, which is Pizza Passion. And you can see here, you've got shrimp, mushrooms, or prawns, depending on where you live, olives, chilies, peppers, pineapple, different kind of tomato slices. You've got little olives there. That's a smaller olive, I think. Yeah, that's olive rings. That's the actual full olive. You've got cheese, grated cheese. That's the pepperoni. And then you've got all these other ones there. It's a really, really fun stamp set to use. I will certainly be using it more, but I just wanted to do a fun little card and I thought I want to do it on a pizza box, but having it just that size on its own, I thought it was just two smaller cards. So I've just kind of, yeah made it, this is five by five, so it's a little bit um, smaller than a usual one that I would do. And then on the back, you've got your area to write your message. It's really fun, you don't have to have a pizza box on this, you can use the pop-out feature and take it and you know and add something else to it, you don't have to do it that way. And you can also have it that way, so your pop-up will come out from the top. Okay, and you can have flowers and all sorts on there. So there's many ways to adapt this for you. I just want to show you that fun pop-up mechanism and some more colouring and just, yeah, just a bit more of a detailed tutorial. So let me show you how I made it. Okay, so you're going to need, because this is a slightly smaller card than usual because I've, I thought that the full six by six just looked too big for that pizza size. So this is a piece of 11 by five and a half, which will then give us our five and a half by five and a half card. So you just want to score along the 11 inch side at five and a half, okay? Or if you've got a five and a half by five and a half card base, then that's perfect. And then just fold and burnish that. Okay, so that's the card. Then you need to go inside. I've gone for black. It's entirely up to you what color you choose. And this is a piece of 10 and a half by five and along the ten and a half side you want to score at five and a quarter again fold and burnish and then that piece will sit inside there and give you that nice even border all the way around what I would say with this piece as well is go for more of a paper this is a very lightweight it's about 120 140 GSM because you don't want to create too much bulk on your fold here and you don't want that to kind of um, like buckle when we stick it down so go for something quite lightweight just as the color okay and it's, it's basically going to be a frame because this piece here is going to sit inside again and you see there once we've got it all in place it will give you those two equal sides okay and this piece measures 10 by four and a half okay then to decorate the front the mats and layers I've gone for to try and try and create that pizza box look I've got a piece of black that's five and a quarter by five and a quarter and then this white which is five and one eighth by five and one eighth because I just want a very very thin black border so it actually looks like a line when I put it on top of my cover you see there I just want it to look like a line okay so yeah that you can obviously you know change up as much as you want um, we'll go through the pizza box inside in a moment but what we do first is we do the actual pop-up piece so you'll want that piece that's 10 by four and a half and while I've got my scoreboard out what you want to do is along the 10 inch side is you want to mark the halfway point okay so five inches just mark a pencil and I will grab my ruler and just do a pencil mark perfectly straight so I'm just using my scoreboard here right the way through the middle we will score some of it later but right now all you want to do is just work along this center pencil line okay okay so keep your pencil pop it this way and again we're working along this pencil line here I'm just using my grid again I can see that that's perfectly straight you want to come in so put your ruler along that pencil line and you want to come in at one and three quarters from this side just mark lightly so you can rubble this out and then I'm coming in one and three quarters this side so the pop-out piece in the middle is, is an inch 
Okay, you can see my two pencil marks there, that's an inch. If you want to have it wider, you can, and if you want to make it thinner, you can, okay? So all I'm doing right now is just deciding on, you know, where I want it to be, and I want mine to just be that one inch because that's what the pizza piece here is going to sit on. Okay, and I thought that was enough for it. Like I said, you can have it wider if you've got something that may be a little bit heavier or you're a bit, un, you know, you just want to make sure it's not going to kind of, I guess, bow that kind of pop out piece or flatten it. Then if you pop it this way, again, I'm using my grid underneath just to make sure I keep everything straight. You want to, so you've got your left side, you've got your right side and you've got those two pencil marks in the middle, you just want to come up half an inch. Now, this is where you can decide how big you want your pop-up to be. So if you want to go, mine is only going to pop out by half an inch from the bottom of the card, it's going to lift up half an inch. If you want it to be an inch, you can, but you will have to make sure that when it folds flat, which I'll show you in a moment and I'll explain again, that it doesn't poke out the end of your card. I'm just doing half an inch, so I've just got half an inch here on my ruler and I'm just putting a little dot at the end and then I'm going to come down to the other one again, put a little dot at the top there and then I'm just going to join up those two little dots that I've just done. Okay, so I just bring it up, you can see what I've done here. So there's those dots there and that's half an inch up from these middle dots here. Okay, then you want to decide how far down your pop-up's going to come. Mine's going to come down two and a half inches, so it's actually easier if you use a T-square ruler because it just, well, you know you're getting everything straight. So from either of these markers here, those one inch pieces, you can see my ruler lines up nicely with the five inches there. So I'm just going to come down two and a half inches, so one, two and a half. Okay, oh, make sure that clips onto the end there. So actually what I'm going to do is come this way here. So there's that pencil mark, the first one. And from there, I'm going to come down two and a half and do a line. So there's one inch, two and a half. Then I'm going to come down to the other dot. Again, make sure that ruler hits on the end there. So that will keep everything straight. And again, two and a half. Okay, so there's that line coming from that one, two and a half, that one, two and a half. And then again, you just want to join those up. So I'm going to use, again, the T-square ruler, just so I get that nice and straight. Don't worry if it's a little bit longer, as long as they're both the same. Right. So now that's what you will have. Then I would just join up. You don't have to, because you're going to be scoring this. I'm just going to join up those ones there as well. And there. Okay, so you'll have this whole piece. Then what we want to do is at this end here, you just, then you're going to come up here at half an inch and at this end at half an inch. Just as you did here. So this is our half an inch section here and here. This is now our half inch section here and here. And it's this one that will become a score line. So I'm just going to very lightly put a pencil mark there. Okay, so what's now going to happen is we're going to score here and here and here. And then cut right the way down these two here. You're not going to do anything with that one there. So what I would say is so that you know not to cut or score is just rub that out. Rub the pencil mark out. Well, that is a terrible rubber on the end of that. That's going to be covered anyway. But I've rubbed a little bit of that out, but it doesn't matter. But you're going to cut all the way down here. You're going to cut all the way down here. And then you're going to score here, here, and here. And then these outer ones. I'm going to talk you through it all again. But right now, that is the template that you want to have. Okay, so we've done our centre pencil mark here. And then from in there, I've done these little markers that came in from here and here. So you should have this one inch piece here. And then we've done these ones here and here. This will, I will put this template on my blog, okay, just so it's easier for you to understand. Because everybody has their own way of kind of doing this and what works easier for them. Okay, now you can use your trimmer if you want to whack this in your trimmer and just cut now from that point down to that point and that one to that one. I'm going to use my metal ruler and my cutting knife here because I just feel safer using this um, and I can really see what I'm doing so I'm just going to cut down those two first
And don't worry if this is a little bit untidy because it's all going to be covered. The main thing you want to do is make sure you get this end one perfectly straight and that one there perfectly straight. But if you're cutting and, you know, joining the two up is a little bit out, the pizza box that I stick on top is going to cover it. So that's why you don't always want to go too big because you can hide anything underneath. Okay, so now you'll see I've cut through from that point to that point, that one to that one. Okay, now everything else is scoring, so I'm just going to pop all this away. Okay, so I'm just using my stylus. So, first of all, you want to score this little short one here. So you're joining up the two kind of, um, you know, you make sure you start from the top of where you cut. So just scoring that one there. I'll just rub out all these pencil marks. Okay, then you want to score either side of this here so you're going to score down that pencil line up to there and then join it again from here do not score up here on this piece it will flatten your little pop-up piece that you spent time making you know getting it right so I'm just going to score and this is your center score line so again make sure it is in the center pop up on your scoreboard if you'd rather but I'm just going to do it this way while I've got all this out don't worry if you touch it a little bit, that's really not going to make a difference, but you certainly don't want to score into it. And then just remove them. Okay. And then you want to score your last one, so you've scored here, here and here. Now we just want to score these two here. Okay, so now, do it that way because the light catches it better. And see score line score line score line score line score line so next what you want to do is these two here fold up so you've got a valley do not fold that bit there where it almost did okay as you fold that into a valley this bit will naturally form another valley so you're gonna have a valley 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 okay then these will become a mountain and the bottom one will be a valley okay and then just bring it all towards you and it will naturally all fall into place because we've done an equal half inch here and a half inch here. Like I said, if you've done one inch here, so yours will come up here, but yours will come up higher here as well. But if you want to come down further, and what I mean by making sure that nothing sticks out is whatever it is that you want to have on your pop out, so there, I know that that's only going to push forward by another half inch because it's only going to push forward by whatever the height is. So whatever you have on there, if your height is an inch, it's going to push forward an inch when it goes to close. So if you've got two inches high, you need to make sure that you have two inches free here. Otherwise, when it all folds flat, it will pop out the top. So whatever the height is you've done, that is what it's going to push it out by to, to go flat. Okay. So I'm hopeful, So I hope that I've broke that down enough and um, you know you can look at ways to adapt it yourself. You just need to make sure that whatever you cut up on one side is the same as what you cut up the other. The width can be whatever you want. You know, you can go right up to here. That's not going to affect the way it closes. It's what you put on it. You want to make sure it covers it up. So that's that all done. So now what I can do is I'm going to stick this piece into here. All right. And then that is going to stick on top again. So if you've got anything you might want to add ribbon around this piece you want to do that before you stick this down. If you're going to stamp on this piece you want to do that before you stick it down as well and I think I may well do that. So for the minute I'm just going to stick these two together. When you stick this down stick one half first. So I'm going to lie that one down make sure you've got equal border and stick it whilst it's kind of folded up on a right angle. Okay, and the reason being is you're not going to open this card up and it's not going to go flat. That's it won't because that person will keep it displayed either like this because once that's stuck on there it will hold that up or they're going to display it like that. They are not going to flatten that up whereas if you stick it flat and then you go to fold it that's when you're likely to get all the, the kind of like buckling and stuff, okay? So I'm just going to make sure that's all nicely secure and just burnish that there. That's why I said use a paper, okay? And just go in there with your bone folder, you can get a nice crease.
So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to work on the pop-up piece and I'm going to stick that separate and I'm going to work on the front and you know it's just a bit easier to do it all without this piece in it quite yet. So to make my little pizza box and like I said at the very beginning you don't have to have a pizza box on this you can add anything on this you could have I don't know some kind of nice like plant flower little plant thing or you could have a nice message there you could even have it that way so you could have something you know just yeah I'm sure some of you are already thinking yeah I know what I'm going to do I'm going to do this on that so it's entirely up to you but I just thought this pizza box style was just too cute so I have for my pizza box I'm going for this craft card this is three and a half by three and a half and I've just used my X cut corner rounder just to do the ends that are facing me because this is the piece that's going to stick on here okay on top of that, I've got some vellum because I just thought it looked like it's that kind of, you know, the greaseproof paper that they put on the bottom of the pizzas. And that measures three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And again, I've just rounded the edges. Now, if you do want to give it a more of an authentic look, you could distress the edges. You could maybe wrinkle this up a little bit. It's entirely up to you, but I'm not going to. So I'm not worried that you're going to see the glue through this, but I'm not going to stick all of it because I do want the edges to kind of look like they can kind of lift and move so I'm not worried about that there because the pizza is going to cover okay that piece then we're going to stick that on top now I want to stick this using some foam because I think it'd be nice just to give it a little bit of dimension on top of obviously what it's already on and it just mean the card's got a little bit of bulk to it but I'm not too worried you can always pop this in one of my 6x6 six six box card envelopes and I will link that in. So if you do want to go and add more bulk to it, you may want to decorate the front. You may want to turn the actual envelope box into a pizza box. So <laughs> there's so many ways to play around with this. So I'm going to just stick that one like so. Okay, so that looks really cute. And now that's going to go on there. I think it looks so fun. Then this piece here is for the lid. And I thought it'd be nice to have this little feature just so it looked like the, you know, the lid closure. So this piece measures three and a half by four. And along the four and a half side, you just want to score it three and a half. Okay. And again, I went and rounded off the corners there just to, yeah, tie it all together. And that's how that's going to look. Now, before I stick this, I'm going to stick this piece down. So I'm just going to add my glue onto this and cover the whole thing. People are asking me about this glue. I did share it in my glue review and said that it's one of my favorites. It's very, very similar to the art glitter glue, but the nib on this is even thinner again. And this is the Dawn Bibby Creations. You get two of them and I will share the links. They're from Craft Stash. Okay, so I'm just gonna sit that on there now and make sure that I've got it nice and like overhanging evenly and you can just go in with your finger underneath the back there and push that down you can go right in there but do make sure that you get it right up to that piece and then if you bring it all down so if it's going to close look at that it's so fun such a simple little thing but by lifting it up there I just think it looks brilliant and then this one here will stick like that and because you don't, you're not going to stick that piece. You want to leave that lifted up. It looks really cool. But before I stick that on, I have stamped from that stamp set this one here, which is your supremely awesome. So I stamped that on there. So I want to cut that one out, and then I want to add a few, like maybe like a green. I've got some scrap green here, and I've got some scrap red, and I think it'd be quite nice to frame it around that and then stick it on there. So I'm just gonna grab some dies and see what I'm gonna do with that. Okay, so I've got these three dies. So the smaller one here to cut that little sentiment is one and, it's about one and five eighths squared. And then I've gone up with each one there. So the next one is about one and seven eighths. And then this one here is two and three eighths. So I'm gonna go and cut all three out. Okay, so I've just stuck all that down there. I just thought just brings all the colours together and how I'm going to decorate the front as well. So I'm just going to run glue all over the back, but don't put glue on that flap because that just just more for decoration. 
and then I'm going to pop it on this side and just line it up with the box below. Okay, so now you can see how that all looks. It's hard to see in the camera because actually it just looks like it's stuck to that white, but it's not. It has got that height to it and it does look really cool. And that obviously will fall down. I love it. I think it looks really, really cool. Okay, so now that is going to go in there. You see, once you start layering everything up, and then I've also gone and got these ones here, and I totally forgot. So, to make the pizza, and to decorate it, and colour it, and everything, I will link in a video now, and I will talk you through how i done the masking, and what I used to colour, and there'll be a little high-speed video of you watching me do all of that. I also went and done the little pizza slice, which is the separate stamp, so that's this one here. And then I also done the pizza cutter, so you've got that one there. And I'm probably going to have them kind of like, maybe I'll do it like that side there. So I think that looks really cute. And then I don't think I'm going to have anything else there because I'm going to have stuff on the front cover. So I think that's going to be just right there. So I will now talk you through how I done the pizza. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly talk you through how I was able to have all of those different toppings on the pizza and kind of layer them all up. So I use the masking technique. So what I've done is I just stamped the kind of pizza base. First of all, I've used the memento because I'm going to be coloring this with my alcohol markers. And then what you do is, so you can use um, post-it notes, that's fine, but I've got the hunky-dory uh, masking sheets. So you get A4, I think you get three or four in a pack. I'll link them on the blog and down below. So first of all, I'm just stamping the, the, the kind of topping that I want to be on the very top. So in this case, it's the pepperoni. And that's the first thing you stamp. And then you kind of work backwards. So whatever you want to be, well, it doesn't have to be like that. That's how I've kind of done this one. But so, yeah, so I've just stamped all them. And then I'm stamping the same amount again on this masking sheet. So it's just a very, very low tack cheap so it's just like masking tape but it's just on a sheet and I'm just cutting them all out now this can be fiddly it's fiddly for me because these are small pieces but once you've done it once you don't need to do it again so I keep all these little pieces afterwards and I'll keep them in with my stamp set so I've stamped them again on that mask and I'm just cutting right up to the black line so you don't want to leave a border you do have to cut you don't want to cut away the black line but you have to cut right up to the the border basically of your stamp and then I'm just sticking each one and just going to cover all of that okay then once you once you've done that base well you know however much you want there and you've covered it with the masking then you can go on to your next layer so you'll see now i'm starting to stamp my next one i'm just kind of randomly stamping it wherever i think i need it to go and then i stamp it again on the masking sheet and then i cut those out again and i cover those pieces okay then you stamp your next piece that you want so again picking up a different topping there and i'm stamping that again then stamp it the same amount on the masking sheet, cut them out and stick them over. And you repeat that per process until you've, you've covered everything. And then this is the fun bit, this is the reveal. So you just slowly peel off each of those masking you know, pieces that you've got and you will have this really nice image with everything perfectly layered over each other with no lines overlapping. If you do have any kind of bits where maybe the black hasn't joined properly, just get a fine liner pen and you can just join up those bits. But this masking sheet is very, very thin. You can get some masking sheets that are quite thick, so I'd advise you to try and go for a thinner one and then it doesn't matter if you're layering up on top. But this is a great technique for if you're doing any kind of you know backgrounds you've got trees and you've got the countryside or you've got you know you want an animal in front of the tree this is a really good way to do that and I will feature it more in this series so that's how I've done it now I'm going to just do a quick little high speed video of me coloring in my pizza
stick that one there and then this little one here like so and again I haven't stuck that piece in because now I'm going to work on the front so for the front I have these pieces here so I've got this black piece which was to give you that really really thin border which just looked like a line like so and the measurements for these I can't remember if I gave them or not but you've got five and a quarter squared yeah and then this one was five and one eighth squared yeah that's right so this one here first of all I just want to do some decoration so this is where I'm going to have my pizza so I went and die cut these here and this is going to go in the middle okay and then I wanted to have happy birthday so it's going to have happy birthday pizza and then probably oven fresh or something silly like that underneath okay so like this and then what I've gone and done is I want to just stamp some plain lines and I just had a little look at my stamps and on this one here you have this is a planner stamp and they're actually really good for lines and things but I like this line here with the heart and I like this here so what I'm going to do is First of all, I'm going to stick this pizza down. So I need to make sure that I get this lined up. So I'm going to grab my T-squared ruler again, line this up on my grid. Okay. And then, so it's one, two, three, four, five and a bit. So if I do, so two and a half roughly here. I'm not worried. I'm going to go a little bit higher. I'm going to roughly do my line. So it is just above. This is if you're going to do it the way I'm doing it, you know, in terms of decoration on the front, but I just want to have a straight line just there. So just lightly, and that's the one I'm going to use to now make sure that I get this all lined up. So I'm just going to stick that one down. Okay, so next I want to start adding some of these lines. So I'm going to have, I've got this happy birthday I want to have up here. So I'm just going to sit that a little bit higher. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp that first. Okay, then I'm going to have this little heart one. That I got from the works, that sentiment um, planner stamp set. I think I got that straight. That's a real little fiddly stamp so let's just pick that one up but the amount of mess I've made just to make this one card <laughs> okay oh no that's fine look doesn't they look cool and I think once I've got that black frame a very thin black frame around it it should look quite good now, I did love the stamp here and just have that one like stamped there but the problem it's not a problem but it says you've stolen a piece a pizza my heart and I want to give this as a birthday card to a guy and he hasn't stolen a piece of my heart so <laughs> um, yeah it's uh, I love it it's brilliant but it would have been I get why they've done it because it's got the pun but it would have been quite nice if they'd maybe just had happy birthday on that or something but it's still a brilliant stamp set I love it so yeah if any of you are thinking why should not use that stamp set that stamp that's why really small it just says there you've stolen now you could kind of block that out but it's really hard to do because I did look and it's all flat together it's just it's too fiddly so I'm just I'm not going to bother so I've done that then I'm going to bring in my alphabet labeler ones these are stamping up and I'm going to have here oven, bank, oven baked. So this is going to be a bit fiddly, but I do love the look of these when they stamp. So I'm going to patiently now lay these all down. Okay, I think I've got it where I want it to be. I did do a test on some plain paper before, but I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, that's going to look cool once I add the E in there so. and then I want to add this one but I don't want to stamp obviously right the way across this is a long one so I'm just going to line it up there I'm just going to grab a piece of card and just pop it over there and ink it up
and then take that away. And then lay that down. There we go. So it's just to add something to it. I think it looks really cool. That's what it's all about. So now I'm going to carefully pop some glue on the back of this one. Stick it on this one here, bearing in mind there's only a very, very small border and that was the intention because I want it to look like a line. And then I'm going to stick that again over the front. So I have gone very basic. You could go online and print off, you know, all kinds of things if you want to. If there's someone who has a certain, you know, brand of pizza that they enjoy, then, you know, you can do that. But obviously you can't sell that, but if you're, you know, just doing it personally, then, yeah you can go to town but I think that that looks really really fun and okay so then I just need to grab this piece and we need to add glue all onto the back I'm going to do stick each piece separate so lift this one up pop it in make sure you get a nice even border around the three sides here so that black like that and again keep it in the right angle and glue it a much nicer finish because you're never going to open this card out flat that way now so it doesn't need to go that way but you want it to be nice and strong okay just checking that this is all dry I don't want to smudge anything lay that down that side and then turn it upside down and then add your glue because you will have a little bit of bulk with this pop-out piece, you get a much nicer finish if you stick it like this. Make sure you get your glue all around that centre part. Okay, and again, stick it down while it's in that right angle position. And that way it will stand up, like so, when it's open. And I think that looks really, really cool. Yay! Okay, so then I've just gone and added on the back here this red mat and the white mat there as well. So the red one is five and a quarter squared and the white one is five inches squared and I just stamped Let's Celebrate. So there you have the front, nice pizza box style, oven baked, and then you open it up and you've got that really fun little pizza box there and that pizza slice and the cutter. And yeah, I really like it. I love colouring. I love doing all these kind of things anyway. I hope it showed you quite a nice way to make a pop-up piece. And you, like I said, you can do it any way you want. So if you had it that way, can you see how that just comes out slightly in front? So it just gives that card, you know, just something different. It's just nice to do. So you could have it that way and you could have flowers and all kinds of things. So yeah, don't think you just have to do a pizza box because you don't. But I think it's really fun to do and I like the little kind of lid bit there as well. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope it's inspired you. I hope, you know, again, the colouring you liked. And uh, yeah, you're enjoying the series. So I'll be back again tomorrow with another tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.